Hello everyone. This is part 48 of Ninja News. I'm your host as always, Ninja Johnny Boy. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, apologize that I, I couldn't get this video uploaded yesterday. I tried and I thought it did upload last night before I went to bed. Checked at work this morning, it wasn't uploaded. Um, even tried about an hour earlier just now and um, upload studio which which I usually use just gave out on me as I was as I was recording the voiceover um, which you know kind of pissed me off actually really really pissed me off but I'm um, positive that I can get this one hooked up or uploaded and uh, yeah so welcome to part 48 ladies and gentlemen hope you're all doing well Got an interesting piece of story for you guys. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Man faces prison for sharing pirated Deadpool movie on Facebook. A 21-year-old man from California has been arrested for allegedly sharing a pirated copy of the movie Deadpool on his Facebook page shortly after it premiered last year. The man was indicted following an FBI investigation and faces a prison sentence of up to three years. With roughly 2 billion active users per month, Facebook is by far the largest social networking site around. While most of the content posted to the site is relatively harmless, some people use it to share things they are not supposed to. This is also what 21-year-old Trayvon Maurice Franklin from Fresno, California did earlier last year. Just a week after the box office hit Deadpool premiered in theaters, he shared a pirated copy of the, of the movie on, on the social network we know as Facebook. Franklin, who used the screen name Trayvon M. King, saw his post go viral as it allegedly reached 5 million views. This didn't go unnoticed by 20th Century Fox, as soon afterwards the feds were involved as well. The FBI began to investigate uh, the possibility, sorry, the FBI began to investigate the possibly criminal Facebook post and decided to build a case. This eventually led to an indictment, and the alleged pirate was arrested soon after. Reading off a Facebook post from early in 2016, uh, Trayvon M. King, F. The System, 100. Um, the U.S. Attorney Office for the, the Central District of California, which released the news uh, a few hours ago, states that Franklin faces up to three years in prison uh, for the alleged copyright infringement. Uh, Franklin is charged in a one-count indictment returned by a federal grand jury on April 7th with reproducing and distributing a copyrighted work, a felony offense that carries a, st a statutory maximum penalty of three years in federal prison, the office wrote in a press release. According to the comments on Facebook posted last year, several people tried to warn Trayvon M. King that it wasn't wise to post copyrighted I copyright infringing material on Facebook. However, Franklin said he wasn't worried that he would get in trouble. Um, a comment from earlier, uh, people tried to warn him. I literally searched the, Google, searched the news on Google and his page came up, LOL. Yeah, people definitely tried to, to tell him that he was violating copyright and that Facebook is, is the last place you want to do that. While the case is significant, there are also plenty of questions that remain unanswered. Uh, was the def defendant involved uh, in the recording um, of the pirate in of the pirate infringing copy? Uh, was it was it already widely available at that time elsewhere? Um, are the reported five million views people who watched a large part of the movie, or is this just a number of people who might have seen it in their feeds? Um, so, so far we don't know any of those um, details, uh, but, I mean, man, come on, you know, you're pirating one of the biggest movies at that time, <laughs> and posting it to Facebook, I mean, doing that would be one thing, but, I mean, man, come on, use your head, dude. Um... Going back to that Facebook comment, um, uh, 
Facebook is the last place you want to do that. That's why people use torrents. Um, it's much harder to, to identify a person. Uh, people were just trying to be helpful to this guy. He was just like, F y'all. Uh, I'll do what I want. Uh, I'm searching the news um, to see if he actually got charged, which he did. Um, that was written April, or sorry, February 23rd, um, 2016. So this Trayvon M. King guy, you know, obviously using his noggin. Um, pfft, wow, dude, come on, man. Um, I mean, and what do you really expect? Really, what do you seriously expect? It's like he's he was asking for it, which kind of is kind of weird to me. You know, I mean, does he not know the se how severe the penalty is now for copyright and pirating and that kind of thing? Um, it's an issue now, and it's a it's a big deal. Uh, he could have been a little bit more slick about it the w the way he did it. Yeah, Facebook's probably not the place to to do that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, do you think this guy's an idiot, or um, do you think he's a huge idiot? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, sadly, that's all I have for this time around. This concludes part 48 of Ninja News. I'm your host as always, Ninja Johnny Boy. Signing off and saying, take care. Mm -hmm.